Hola, hola, hola. Buenos dias. Good morning, beautiful planner babes. Welcome back to the channel. It's your girl here, Daniela, the planning diva. And it's been a minute since I have filmed a fitness plan with me. Oh my goodness, the last couple of weeks have been absolutely insane and I really haven't been um working out for the last week. So we need to get back in business. So drag out your fitness planners. We all have slumps in our fitness journey. Um, the best thing you can do for yourself is just to go ahead and get back on the horse. So here's my fitness planner. We're in the month of June. I use the tie-dye fitness planner. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> this was last week. Um, and there's nothing. There is nothing. It is currently June the 5th, Monday. And I'm going to be setting up this week right here. But we're coming from this. Absolutely nothing. And that's coming from you know, May, which was a pretty good month for me. This is the first week in the year, I want to say, that I didn't write in my fitness planner at all this entire week. It was a wild week, crazy amount of work. I was working like 13 hours, 12 hours, 10 hours <laughs> every single day. I had two conferences happening this weekend. Absolutely insane. Nothing was done. I did manage to go on a hike on Wednesday and I have walked here and there throughout the week, but that is absolutely it. But it happens, it happens. So we're just going to flip the page and start planning for the week of June the 5th through June the 11th. And I am running a little bit behind here. Um, I want to get to campus um, sooner rather than later. So we're just going to hurry our way through this plan with me. Just a quick and dirty fitness plan with me. It happens. Sometimes I just don't have that much time to film. Um, but honestly, I'm not trying to spend a lot of time in here. I just want to think out what I want to do. And then also just have in the back of my mind, okay, what did I plan to work out for this week for each particular day so that I know waking up in the morning how I want to structure my day, how much time I have to set aside to work out based on my workout plan. So that's that. And then I'm just going to put some washi tape down because I like to cover up this little section down here. This is the section I um, put my Fitbit tracker stats and I like having a little bit of color peep through here. So we're just going to lay this down like so and repeat that on this side. Okay, so I am super, super excited to report that I am a proud owner of a Cricut machine. I finally went ahead, picked up the Cricut Explorer Air 3 at my local Michaels. Oh my goodness, it's been on my wish list and on my to-do list, and I've just been hesitating buying it just because it is a lot of money. I spent around $330, I believe, on this Cricut machine. Um, it was a little bit discounted because I used a gift card and I also had some rewards stacked up um, in my Michaels account, but it was still a hefty amount of money. But I finally went ahead and did it. And I used this past weekend um, while I was sitting in on my virtual conference. Um, I was just like sitting at my computer pretty much all day, Saturday and Sunday for this virtual conference. And because it was virtual, I was just listening to a lot of Zoom talks. And meanwhile, I was <laughs> listening to these Zoom talks. I was playing around with my Cricut and um, figuring out settings and such. A huge shout out to my girl, Rachel at Rach Makes a Plan for really helping me through the first Cricut learning curve, but I immediately wanted to make some of my Fitbit um, stickers that I've designed into actual stickers thanks to my Cricut. And so I made some running tracker stickers. This is the first prototype of my running tracker sticker sheet. So Medicine Mujer is the brand that I'm trying to launch with my stickers. It is the child of both me and my best friend Carla. Um, she's really into designing and stickers as well. And so this was our little love child, our brain child together. But yeah, this is what these stickers look like. And I am in love. I cannot believe that I can just peel these off the page now. My goodness. So I am going to run three times. Monday, Wednesday, and... 
Friday. And we're going to start off slow <laughs> because I haven't worked out in a week and I don't want to really push myself too much. But look at that. Look at this. This is an actual sticker sheet. Something I'm struggling with the Cricut though is that I want to print out like my little logo here, but I don't want to make it a sticker. Right now, the only way I can print it out on the paper is if the Cricut cuts it as well. So if you're a Cricut person and you know how to print something out, but then kind of mark it so that the Cricut machine does not cut it, please, please, please let me know because I am struggling with this. Okay, so there is my running stickers and oh and then this is like the smaller size right here so that was the larger size this is kind of like a medium size which is my favorite size this is like an itty bitty size these are okay <laughs> uh i guess i will use these sometimes but honestly my favorite um size is this medium size oh and also something that i'm super super excited about is that i just downloaded and installed photoshop on my computer and i've been playing around with all of my designs on Photoshop and really like cleaning up the edges because a lot of these stickers like the main designs are hand-drawn and then I scan them with my scanner upload them onto my computer and I usually from there use Canva to kind of um, put them into like the sticker format put them into boxes um, what have you and then I print them out but I don't really directly manipulate the images too much until I started playing around with Photoshop. And then I grab my image, I clean the edges around it so it's a lot cleaner and sharper. Any like smears that I made like in the original drawing, I can clear that up in Photoshop. I can kind of move things around, sharpen up edges, even like redraw some things. So a lot of these images are just like much better, much cleaner, sharper, nicer. Um, and let me see if I can like compare one. I don't know if you can see on camera. Yeah, it might be a little bit hard to see, but this one's the old image and then this one is the Photoshopped image. I also can play with hue and saturation so that the colors are a lot more vibrant because that was something I was having issues with is that um, during the scanning of my original artwork and then the uploading it, I don't think my scanner really captures the color very, very nicely. And so when I print it out, it's kind of washed out in my opinion. It's not as deep and vibrant a color as was in my original artwork. But with Photoshop, I can, you know, kick up the color saturation and then it prints out a lot truer to color. So I'm super, super happy with that. Um, so now a large project that I want to launch on is taking all of my old designs, like these walking stickers here, and then putting them into Photoshop, um, cleaning them up, making them better, and then printing them out with the Cricut and then cutting them with the Cricut so that they're actual stickers. I'm still gonna use these. Uh, I wanna use these up as well, the ones that are uncut, but that's gonna be a major goal of mine is to get all of my um, designs back into actual sticker mode. Okay, so Monday today I'm going to run probably only like two miles or so. Um, I do want to stretch so I'm going to grab this stretching sticker and I'm going to put it, uh, this thing is huge, I'm going to put it like right here actually and it's going to take up part of Tuesday but that is fine. So Monday, I'm going to run and stretch or stretch and run. I'm going to do my 15 minute leg stretch and then I'm going to run. I haven't done the stretch in over a week, so I really got to do it. And then I'm going to go ahead and run. And then Tuesday, we got to get back to our apps. We got to get back to them. But I'm so happy, everyone. Um, oh, my abs are looking a lot tighter and I'm so, so happy about that. Um, I need to make an abs workout sticker because right now all I'm using for my little strength workouts are just regular old workout boxes, which I guess is fine, but I would like to have them be a little bit more specific so that way I don't have to write abs or booty or arms or whatever. So um, I'm going to grab my paper mate flare and then I think I'm going to do a 15 minute ab workout and a 15 minute arms and upper body workout. And then Wednesday, I'm going to go on a run. 
and I think I'm also going to do a little hike. I'm trying to make it a bit of a routine to go on this like local um, city hike that's near me. It's only about like a, like a 10 minute drive to get to the trailhead and it's a really empty trail. Not a lot of people go there, especially during the work week. But um, I'm trying to go there and do this little hike and just get my dogs out. My dogs need a little bit more exercise, especially my young one, Daisy. She needs a little bit more workout, more of a workout than um, just like walks every day. So I'm trying to make it a bit of a routine to go on this little hike. And it's also just so good for me to go on a hike and get out and get into nature and get off my computer. So we're gonna do a little hike and then a run. And then let me get some Fitbit stat stickers on the page. Um, this is another sticker. I cannot wait to get into um, sticker form because I'm so tired of cutting them and peeling them off the sticker page like this. I actually kind of like the hand-drawn look of these Fitbit stat stickers. I don't know if I would change them too much. Maybe give them a little bit of a darker border. Maybe clean the font up a little bit, like the Fitbit stats font. I think it's a little bit smeared, so I would clear that up a little bit. Um, but I think I would leave the majority of the sticker alone. So there we go, Fitbit stats. Oh, and then y'all, one sticker that I'm so, so happy to have finally freaking got my Cricut out for is my hydration tracker. These are my rain cloud hydration tracker stickers and not only have I printed them and cut them with Cricut but I also used Photoshop to really clean up the edges and also um, redraw some of the raindrops actually because some of the raindrops were a little bit wonky in my original drawing so I was able to go ahead with Photoshop and completely erase one of the raindrops and redraw them and that is amazing and fantastic. I can definitely see why digital artists love digital art because it's so forgiving. <laughs> um, I'm a traditional media artist though and I think I will always be a traditional media artist primarily but I will definitely go ahead and use my Photoshop to clean up some of the edges and just make it a lot better for printing. Because my art looks good when you look at it, but then when you up scan it and then upload it and then print it, I feel like it loses some of its quality. But if you intercede with Photoshop, clean it up, play with the saturation and print it out, then it starts looking a little better. So these are my hydration trackers. They look so much better, so clean. And look at this. Oh my goodness. Do you see this? I can just peel them off like this and I have my little hydration tracker. I might make the offset, like the little white edge around the sticker a little bit bigger because it's really cutting close to the raindrops there at the bottom. So I'm going to put hydration trackers um, and I like the idea of putting them um at the top here so i'm gonna pull for some hydration trackers like so look how easy this is i was always so um stressed out with cutting the hydration trackers um, by hand with scissors because it just wasn't as clean i mean look at this you can kind of tell how chunky like the cut was and also um it, w it just took forever. It took forever to like cut them out by hand. But look, look at the difference. So that is uncut hydration trackers. And these are ones that I did not tinker around with on Photoshop. And then these are the new hydration trackers. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? Can I zoom in on these? So these are the new ones. Ooh, they're so nice. And then these are the old ones. Wow, look at that. I love it. And then I also made these in teal. So let me zoom out a little bit and I'll show you the ones that I made in teal. I played around with the saturation of these and these are like in a more of a green blue. This one's more of a, a true blue, a sky blue, and then this one's more of a green blue. I'm thinking of making these in like different pastel colors as well. Um, just so that I can have a rainbow cloud hydration trackers amazing okay and then let me zoom in a little bit um we are going to get into the sidebar in a second i kind of always leave that last but let's get back to thursday so thursday 
Uh, it's going to be another strength day. So let me grab some boxes. Let's see. Okay, I think these like quarter boxes are going to be my um, 15 minute workouts. And then the full boxes are going to be 30 minute workouts. But these are my small 15 minute workouts. So Thursday, we did abs and arms on Tuesday. So Thursday, we're going to do 15 minutes legs and booty yes get that booty and then i am trying to do um abs twice a day so we're gonna do 15 minute abs and core and y'all i am starting to really see the tightness in my abs and my middle section feeling really proud of myself for that. I've always struggled with like having a soft middle section. Um, I don't really work out my core too much. I don't focus on it. As I say all the time, I can do legs all day, every day. I can run, I can do cardio every day, but something about abs and arms, I just resist. So booty and abs. And then Saturday, honestly, I don't think I'm going to plan for anything on Saturday because I'm super, super busy Saturday. I'm hanging out with Rachel for a planner babe day, and then I'm going to my friend's birthday party in the afternoon. So a lot going on. I don't know if I'll have time to really work out. Um, hopefully, I'll get a, a nice walk-in in the morning, and maybe I'll, I'll go ahead and do that. I'll put a walk-in sticker. Let's see. Let me grab one of these walking stickers. This is another walking sticker prototype I have here. I actually don't like it as much as the other one. I don't know. Um, but let's just put a walk sticker. Let's just put a walking sticker there. And then a Sunday. Um, I have plans of going to the San Diego County Fair and so um probably going to be walking quite a bit because we're going to be walking all over so I'm going to put one of these walking stickers I'm going to put it right here and I'm also going to try to stretch sometime during the weekend I'm not sure if it's going to be Saturday or Sunday but I'm going to try to stretch so I'm going to use another one of my large 15-minute leg stretch stickers and pop that down here. And then let's add some hydration trackers at the top again. So one, two. Look how easy this is. Oh, I'm in love. This Cricut is amazing. Three, four. Amazing amazing i love this so much so easy such a breeze to just peel them off the page like this and then let's grab some fitbit stat stickers okay i need four do you see how long it takes me to just cut them out like this cannot wait to make these into full-blown stickers love it I'm trying to pace myself with making my old designs into actual Cricut stickers because it does take a while. I was at my computer all day <laughs> for Saturday and Sunday. I think I was on there for like six, seven hours each day, if not more, um, I, because I was at the conference. But I was also doing my Cricut stuff on the side. And honestly, it was nice to have had um, like my conferences happen at the same time I got my cricket because it meant that I was kind of killing two birds with one stone. Um, I have two monitors and so it was very easy to me to listen in to talks and such and then also work on my designs on the side and it made the conference go by really quickly because I was just you know working on my cricket designs at the same time. But it does take quite a bit of time. So my goal is to try to um, convert one of my old designs into a Cricut sticker page, um, similar to like these hydration trackers. I'm trying to do one old design into a page like this every week. 
because it's not only uploading it onto Cricut, but I'm also doing the Photoshop revamp where I am really cleaning up the image, smoothing out the edges, brightening the colors, even changing a few things. And then I upload it into Cricut. And honestly, like, um, really outlining the edges of my hand-drawn designs really helps the Cricut software to really understand where the image is and like the, the edges around the image for it to cut. And so the Photoshop um, intermediary step is kind of necessary in a lot of ways, but it does take quite a bit of time. So I'm planning on doing the Photoshop revamp and the Cricut cutting of one old design a week. <laughs> That's my goal. And I have a lot of different designs that I've made over, you know, the past couple of months. I think I really started making my first design in January of this year, and I've made several designs since then. I have my running tracker stickers, which this one's pretty much done. I have two walking tracker stickers. Really want to make this pink one um, my first walking tracker, like revamped um, cricket sticker. I have this stretch sticker. I have these hiking stickers. I have the Fitbit stat stickers, the calorie calculator stickers. Um, I made the hydration tracker stickers already. Oh, let me pop in these Fitbit stickers in here. Oh, no. Oh, there we are. Gotta pop these in here. I have, um, oh, that's it for fitness stickers. I have these stickers. These are something I've been working on. Um, these are going to be like succulent and cactus ID stickers, ID tags. I have a lot of succulents and cactus and I kind of want to keep track of what species each one is. So this is going to go in my gardening planner. And then I have these studio time stickers for filming YouTube videos. Oh, this is another sticker that I already went ahead and revamped with Photoshop and then cut with the Cricut. These are my Walk the Pug stickers and they came out so amazing. Very happy with these. They look so much better with the Photoshop um, revamping. And then oh, these are my lemon stickers. I'm so, so happy about these. So these are completely revamped with Photoshop and then cut out with the Cricut and they came out so amazing. I love them so much. Ugh. Love these. And then this is another design that I can't wait to um, put onto like actual pages. Although honestly, I might just print out like different sizes because these are pretty big stickers or they can be pretty big stickers. So I could only print like two of these sizes on like a page that is like the size of a Happy Planner sticker page. Um, I printed out a bunch while I was experimenting with like the Cricut, but these are all now uh, nicely cut with the Cricut and they're all in different sizes. Although these are like matte, they don't have the holographic vinyl on top of them um, like these do. So I need to experiment with laying the vinyl on top of the sticker paper and then cutting it. I still haven't tried that. But again, it's going to be a whole process and I'm trying not to try to learn everything in the first, you know, week or so because I could spend hours at my computer. Okay, I think this is it for the fitness um, plan with me. Kind of empty this week because again, I'm trying not to like overwhelm myself this week because I took an entire week off from really doing too much. So not much going on. I do want to decorate a little bit. So let me see if there are like cute decorative workout stickers. I like this one that says strong is the new skinny. I can put this one right here. I love that. And then I like this gold foil you can sticker. And then let's see. Um love it. Sweat like a girl. I like this one. I'm gonna put this right here. Sweat like a girl. Okay, uh, I'm gonna leave it like that for now and then I can decorate and add more things as the week progresses. But the last thing I want to do is my little habit trackers. And I'm also thinking of making habit tracker stickers. That way I can just pop them on here if I ever want to just, um, if I'm pressed for time and I don't want to like hand draw the habit tracker stickers, then this is something that I can do. 
So let me quickly hand draw the Habit Tracker stickers using my mild liners. Okay, so there are my habit trackers, um, the three habits I always keep track of every week, 100 ounces of water per day. And my hydration trackers, um, there's 10 raindrops, so each raindrop is corresponding to 10 ounces of water. I have a 50 ounce water bottle and a 40 ounce water bottle, and so um, using those kind of helps me keep track of how many ounces of water I'm drinking per day. My goal used to be two liters of water per day, but because my water bottles are in ounces, it's more helpful for me to keep it and keep track of my water consumption in ounces. So now my goal is 100 ounces of water per day. Second habit is 10K steps per day. I have a Fitbit. My Fitbit keeps track of this. I have been really, really bad about this um, in the last week because I've just been doing so much work and just sitting at my desk for so many hours that I've really been bad about this. So I need to get back onto it. And then lastly, five minutes stretch it, stretching per day. I'm really trying to be good about having this routine where I'm stretching at least intentionally for five minutes per day. Ideally, this will go up to 10 minutes per day, but we're trying to start off small. And I really, really like this habit tracker idea I have where um, each day corresponds to like a little heart. And then, and if I meet the goal for that day, then I can color in the heart with, you know, gel pen or marker or whatever. I'm so used to just doing like check marks for my habit tracker, like so. But I thought it would be really cute to do um, like a color in habit tracker. Okay, and then I leave this spot here for journaling. And then lastly, I have my little happy planner workout rewards. So far, I've earned 28 points. So however many points I earn this week, I will add to that to give me a grand total for this week. But this is the fitness plan with me for the week. Thank you so much for checking out this video. I really appreciate it. And please let me know if you're interested in, in any of these stickers that I have made. Um, I love. I would love to send you some. So let me know if any of these stickers um, call out to you. I'd love to just ship them out to you and um, share some of my stickers. And they don't have to be the workout stickers. They can be like the other types of stickers. Just let me know. And with that, thank you so much for stopping by and spending some time with me here today. I really appreciate it. Good luck with your fitness programs this week. You can do it. Remember, persistence, not perfection. And I hope to see you in my next video. So until then, stay safe, stay blessed. Don't forget to hydrate. Hit the trails once in a while. And happy planning. Adios.